Vauxhall Automobile Repairs. If you're looking for help fixing your Vauxhall automobile, look no further. Our comprehensive Vauxhall Automobile Repair Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your vehicle. Vauxhall manufactures cars that owners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy autos require occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Vauxhall Auto Repair from experienced professionals, your local auto helper can help. The vehicle is not starting if your vehicle either takes a long effort to start or the vehicle just won't start by any means then the most predictable issue can be a dead battery. You need to be very observant in order to correctly identify and troubleshoot such an issue with your vehicle. If in response of turning your ignition key the vehicle is totally silent then the issue is with the battery or connecting terminals for sure. If there is a cranking sound while ignition then the issue might be with the fuel intake or the spark plug. In any case, you can arrange a tow truck or if possible can jump start your vehicle using a jump starter kit to safely reach a nearby workshop for further investigation of the issue. Oil pressure problems Oil plays a vital role in lubricating all the moving parts in the car. When your oil is old, it will form a sludge that makes it hard to operate efficiently. This will cause unnecessary friction amongst the movable parts leading to overheating and wear. Oil pressure problems are something you never want because they can result in expensive repair costs like engine replacements. Also, identify the right type of oil that has offers good viscosity. Nowadays, many motorists prefer using synthetic oils. Bad car battery The battery powers the car engine together with the alternator. However, with time the terminals get contaminated with acid. And the battery no longer powers electrical components in the car. Just like your tires. You need to change your battery after every 5 years or 50.000 miles. Whichever comes first. It can be stressful operating with a dead battery because the car can stall at any time. Some of the signs of a dead battery include dim headlights. Inability to power the stereo or AC. And problems starting the car in the morning. If the battery is working fine. Then the problem could be with the alternator. Faulty starter motor The starter motor and battery work together to crank the engine. However, certain starter components can stop working due to wear and tear. These include the starter relay, solenoid, and motor. When this happens, you will hear a rattling sound whenever you turn on the ignition and start the car. Starter motors are quite expensive and, unfortunately, something that needs to get replaced sometimes. A starter often holds up around 10 years. Though, depending on the car model and how often you start the car. Alternator failure The alternator essentially serves as the terminal that helps power your battery as you drive and distribute power to the various electrical systems of your vehicle as you're in gear. So, when an alternator goes bad, you're certain to know it. A dead battery, flickering or dimming headlights, or strange noises coming from your car can all indicate an issue with the alternator. If you suspect your alternator has gone bad, it's best to have the issue resolved immediately. That's because without an alternator, the vehicle will draw all of its energy from the battery. And this may cause the battery to drain and the vehicle to fail to start. Unfortunately, new alternators aren't cheap. Radiator leaks is your coolant level low. Do you regularly spot a pool of liquid underneath your vehicle once it has been parked for a while? If so, then you likely have a radiator leak. Radiator leaks are most often caused by one thing corrosion. This is because radiators, their hoses, and the hose connections are apt to pick up sediment over time, which can cause the component to rust out and punch holes in the radiator. The best way to ensure the proper health of your radiator is to stick to the vehicle manufacturer's recommended radiator flush timelines. This will ensure the fresh coolant is added when necessary and work to remove sediment that builds up in the system over time. Radiator flushes don't need to be performed very often. Most manufacturers recommend doing it once every 5 years or 100.000 miles. Whichever comes first. Sourcejunkcarmedics.com